And uh, over here with uh, Francisco Guerrero, fresh off your uh, victory uh, over Antonio, can you uh, talk about the fight? Uh, it was uh, it was a quick knockout, um, very tough opponent. Uh, Antonio Duarte, he's 15 and three. Um, you know, I was I was confident after my last fight against Brad McDonald at the Taj Palace. Um, just I, I, I'm very confident right now. You know, I got a lot of things going on, and, 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 and getting these two wins is, is definitely a, 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 a step in my career, and, and I'm looking forward to my next my next fight. Well, you're actually a, an ex UFC fighter. You fought likes like uh, Ruben Duran, uh, WC. You fought in WC, uh, so you're a seasoned veteran of these big shows. Uh, you're scheduled to fight uh, May 10th for a title. Yes. I'm here. Uh, I'm scheduled to fight uh, Casey Olsen May 10th at the Tattoo. Palace uh, for the 135 bound and weight belt, and um, I'm training for that. I know he's a great fighter. Uh, he just fought against Cody Gibson, and um, he's a great wrestler. I'm gonna just you know get back in the gym and train and, and work on my wrestling, and, and uh, hopefully I get that win and I get that belt. Getting back to your last two fights, uh, you've actually uh, had uh, some phenomenal knockouts. Uh, some critics are out there saying that uh, get some phenomenal power. Uh, your last two fights lasted less than two minutes. Yeah. Uh, can you talk about those knockouts? Uh, the first fight was against Brad McDonald. I knocked him out in like 32 seconds, and then uh, Antonio Duarte knocked him out in a minute. So at, at my weight class at Bantamweight, there's really not that many guys that can hit that hard, let alone knock somebody out that fast, you know. So um, and hopefully the UFC gives me the call back, and, and they've seen my last two fights against, you know, Itachi. So and that that alone right there should prove something. I mean, they have nobody in the UFC at Bantamweight doing that that fast. So hopefully, you know, I get the call back. If not, I'm, I'm going to fight Casey Olsen for the bout and, and, and keep training hard. Actually, after your last, last fight, you dedicated that fight to your mom. Uh, can we ask how she's doing? Yeah, she's doing a lot better now. Um, she was sick for a while and she's going through some stuff. And, and she lives in out of state in Arizona, so it's really hard for her to travel over here, you know, being sick and stuff. And, and you know, six, seven hours away and a drive, it's tough on her. So um, I'm taking my time and, and, and training hard for her and fighting for her. And, and hopefully I, I, I make enough money to move her back over here and, and get her back on the side. What do you want to say to your fans? Uh, I, I, I thank my fans um, for all the support, you know, sticking sticking by my side still, you know, even after after I left the UFC. And now I'm back at Tachi and now I'm back on my winning streak and, and they're still there and supporting me. So I, I'm, I'm going to hopefully as soon as I get back to the UFC, I'm still going to be, you know, their fans and train hard and fight.